check check one and two check check one and two this is my mic at first and now we'll go with Brian's mic as well check one two check one and two Check one and two. Turn it down a little bit. Maybe get a little bit more clear. Check one and two. There we go. Check one, two. Check one and two. And now check one, two. Check one and two. Should be good right back. Check one, two. Check one and two. See you getting up there. Yep. Got it.
All right, check one, two, check one, two. Mic check, mic check. All righty, let's stop it.
We're coming to you live from the McPherson Academic and Athletic Complex here on the beautiful campus of the University of Mount Union. You're tuned in to Mount Union Purple Raider Basketball here. we got a women's basketball matchup here tonight. The regular season opener is your Mount Union Purple Raiders play host to the Geneva Golden Tornadoes. Jacob Batar alongside me, we have my partner Brian Martel. Brian, it's been a long time without Mount Union basketball, my friend. How excited are you to get things going here this, this evening? I am really excited to see some Mount Union basketball. Yeah, that's for sure, definitely. It's been a long time here for Mount Union basketball. It's been a big layoff, but we are very excited to bring it here to you tonight as both these squads are coming in following losing seasons last year. The Mount Union Purple Raiders at 10 and 14 last year, 6 and 10 in OAC play. And taking a look at Geneva, they were 10 and 15 last year, 8 and 10 out of the PAC conference as well. But really, this Mount Union Purple Raider women's basketball team, a lot of new faces here this year, a lot of freshmen, and we see some sophomores that are going to be stepping up as well. But of course, they are led by senior Emma Cannon. Brian, why don't you take us through some stats here from a season ago for the Purple Raiders? All right, so for the individual points per game leaders, we have Emma Cannon with 13.6 points, uh, Izzy Palamone with 8.9, and Madison Henley with 6.1. For rebounds per game, we have uh, Issy Palamone with 6.7, Emma Cannon with 5.6, and Maddie Miles with 4. For assists per game, uh, Corinna Maynard had 1.7, Izzy Palamone had 1.3, and Day Nash had 1.2. Uh, for the team stats, uh, for points per game, Mount Union averaged 59.3, and their opponents averaged 62.5. For rebounds per game, Mount Union averaged 41.2, and the opponents averaged 36.8. Uh, for assists per game, Mount Union averaged 10.5, and the opponents averaged 11.6. For blocks, Mount Union averaged 3.3, and the opponents averaged 3.5. For steals, Mount Union averaged 8.6, and their opponents averaged 8.1. And for turnovers, Mount Union averaged 17.3, and their opponents averaged 16.5. Yeah, that's for sure right there, as Purple Raider women's basketball team, they did have a losing record last season. They do lose a lot of seniors from a year ago. As Brian mentioned, some of the leaders on this team from last year, Izzy Palamone and also Corinna Maynard, those were two seniors right there that did graduate for Mount Union. However, the Raiders are going to look to kind of make up for those losses here with a great bunch with a great bunch of youth here this season. As we will get we will get you set here momentarily for the Mount Union Purple Raider women's basketball team to take on the Geneva Golden Tornadoes, both teams heading towards the sidelines here in the, in the moments upcoming as we will be having the national anthem followed by starting lineups here on the live stream. Stay tuned with us here as the Mountain Union Purple Raider women's basketball team tips things off against Geneva here this evening.
And we are back here at the McPherson Academic and Athletic Complex getting you ready for tonight's matchup between your Mountain Union Purple Raiders and the Geneva Golden Tornadoes. Let's take a look at the starting lineups here tonight. First four of the visiting Golden Tornadoes. They are led by fourth year head coach Michael Greiner and their starting lineup consists of the senior guard from Elwood City PO number one, Isabella Roth. Also starting at guard here tonight is the junior from Kane, Pennsylvania, number three, Emily Buhite. Number four, Mackenzie Barclow, the guard and front slash forward from Lorraine, Ohio, also getting the start here tonight. The senior guard from Columbia, Ohio, number five, Tess Liggett, also gets the start here. And rounding out that starting five for the Golden Tornadoes here this evening is the junior forward from the Academy of Our Lady of Guam, number 22, Mia San Nicholas. And now taking a look at the starting lineup here tonight, four-year Mount Union Purple Raiders, as always, they are led by 18th-year head coach Susie Vanek. And their starting lineup consists of the senior guard from Dalton, Ohio, number five, Emma Kamen. The freshman making her Mountain Union debut here tonight from Harrison Central High School, number 12, Michaela Dunkel. Another freshman making their Mountain Union debut here tonight from Norton High School in Wadsworth, Ohio, number 14, Bailey Schutza. Also making the start here tonight is the senior guard from Black Oak, number 22, Madison Hensley. And finally, rounding out that starting five here tonight for the Purple Raiders is the sophomore guard from Lake Catholic High School, number 25, Allie Hudick. But as both teams get set to take the court here this evening, both teams here in their regular season openers, Kicking off this 2022-2023 women's basketball season, Brian, what should we expect to see here early on? Should we expect to see kind of maybe a little bit more sloppy play here in the beginning from the Purple Raiders? They try to yeah. get their footing established and everything. What are you expecting here so far tonight? I'm, whenever I'm definitely start? seeing a lot. I'm thinking there's going to be a lot of sloppy turnovers during the start. It's the beginning of the season. You're just trying to see what works, uh, what zones work, what plays work, who can shoot. Who can make them consistently? I think we're going to see a shootout eventually, but I think for the beginning it's going to be some sloppy play. Yeah, that's for sure. We were talking about it pre-game. We saw a lot of threes made in that pre-game uh, for the Purple Raiders as the Raiders win the opening tip-off here, and Madison Hensley gets the possession. Quick shot, no good. Rebound by Schutze. And my apologies, Dunkel. As Dunkel goes up for the shot, that ball heads out of bounds. And Dougal just got the inside position there. She didn't get the rebound, but unfortunately got blocked on her putback attempt. And right there, we have an early foul as well as Dunkel was fouled on the second chance opportunity. Isabella Roth called for the whistle here for the Golden Tornadoes. And quickly, we have another foul call here now on Geneva as Mackenzie Barclay is going to be whistled for the foul on the perimeter. So that's going to be her first personal second team foul here of the quarter as Emma Cannon inbounds it now for Mount Union. And Cannon's inbound pass here is stolen away by the Golden Tornadoes. Fortunately for Mountain Union, though, Geneva was out of bounds on the play. So the Purple Raiders will maintain possession here. And that was a good steal, but uh, got to keep those feet in bounce. So Hensley inbounds it to Schutze. Gives it right back to Hensley. Now swings it over to Hudick. Hudick gives it baseline to Emma Cannon. And Cannon over to Hudick, who fires up a three, and it's good. Ali Hudick gets the scoring going for the Purple Raiders. So a big three there from Hudick makes it 3-0 Mount Union here in the early goings as the Golden Tornadoes come the other way with it. As Mia San Nicholas in the high post gives the ball off, but a foul is called here. Early fouls from both teams. As a sloppy play. <laughs> that's for sure. As both teams trying to get adjusted here to the early season, Dunkel's going to get whistled for the foul. Her first team's first. Off the inbounds here. Golden Tornadoes with it. Barclay will give it up to Roth. Roth swings it back out on the perimeter. Three pointer up by Tess Liggett, and that's no good. Rebound goes to the Raiders. Coming on the attack now is Mount Union as Schutze drives. Kicks it back out to Emma Cannon in the corner. Cannon gives it up to Hudick. Hudick with the nice spin move. Fires up the shot from the elbow, and it's good. Ali Hudick with a quick five points. Emma Cannon is really setting up uh, Ali Hudick right now. And that's for sure as Hudick makes it 5 nothing Mountain Union here. Just over a minute into this first quarter. As Golden Tornadoes move the ball around here. Barco fires up a three. It's no good, but she was fouled on the shot. Hensley is going to get whistled for the foul. 
And it's going to be three free throws upcoming here now for Barclay. Almost had a shot at the four-point play there. And we're going to see a mass substitution wow. here for Geneva. As checking in now for Geneva is number 32, Taylor Herring. Also checking in to this contest, number 24, Maddie Matthews. As Barraclough's first free throw is up and no good. Number 33, Adriana Campbell also checks in here for Geneva. As the second free throw is no good for Barraclough as well. And lastly, rounding out those substitutions here, it is number 13, Lily Ibarra. Third free throw is up and good for Barraclough. She's going to take a seat as well. It's a platoon swap here for Geneva. Really early in the game to see a, a full rotation, full new rotation in. That's for sure as Abby Schoff checks in. Steal. And here on the steal come the Golden Tornadoes and fresh off the bench, it's Adriana Campbell taking it in there for two. It's five to three in favor of the Purple Raiders. Raiders trying to break that press, gives it up to Emma Cannon. Great pass there from Madison Hensley, sets up Cannon for two. 7-3 Mountain Union as the Raiders come with a press of their own now. Campbell with it here on the sideline. And we're going to see a timeout here from Michael Grinder As Campbell is struggling to get that ball past half court. Purple Raiders on top here by a score of 7-3. 8-05 left to go in this first quarter. Brian, interesting here, we've seen two full court presses from both squads now. Just how difficult is it to really break a full court press? It's really hard. Um, <laughs> During my uh, CYO days, I had to break a lot of presses because a lot of teams would do that. Um, really, you gotta have uh, teammates that are willing to come back, uh, support you on each side, so it's like a triangle. Mm -hmm. So that way, there's more options open. That's really the best way to break a press, in my opinion. And yeah. always have somebody down by the basket because there's always gonna be somebody wide open. Yeah, that's definitely for sure right there. As both teams so far trying to figure out how to really break that press here to start things off as Geneva will have it. Fresh out of the timeout, the Golden Tornadoes will inbound it here. Ibarra now with it. Ibarra gives that one on off to Matthews. As Golden Tornadoes just move the ball around here. Matthews swings it out in the corner. Three point shot is up and no good right there for show off. And the rebound goes to the Purple Raiders. As Kanan here Guarded closely, has that ball knocked out of bounds. And the ball will head back to the Purple Raiders. So once again, another full five switch off here for Geneva. As the starting five will return here. Number 21, Audrey Livesay will see her first action as a Purple Raider. The freshman from Akron, Ohio, checks into the game here now for Mount Union. And Livesay swings it over to Hudick. Hudick now trapped in the corner. Gives it up to Hensley. Hensley tried to get it back to Hudick, but it's out of bounds, and the ball will head over to the Golden Tornadoes. Geneva trailing here in the early goings by a score of 7-3. to three. They're going to cut into that deficit here as Barraclo puts on the moves. Dumps it off with a nice pass down low to San Nicolas. Can't finish. Offensive rebound. Shot is up and no good right there for Geneva as Hensley will come the other way with it. Hensley dumps it off to Emma Cannon. Cannon fires up a shot. That one's blocked right there by San Nicholas as Geneva comes the other way with it now on the attack. Lee gives it up in the corner to an open rock for three. That one's no good. Rebound though is got by the Geneva Golden Tornadoes there. As Buhite fires up a three but there is a foul right there. An offensive foul will be called on the Golden Tornadoes. As the foul is going to go to Mia San Nicholas right there. Her first personal, team's third. As Madison Hensley will check out here for the Purple Raiders. The senior Gretchen Koken will see her first action here of the new season. Once again, Geneva coming here with the press. Shutso gives it up to a wide open. Gretchen Koken fresh off the bench. And Brian, that's how you break a press right that's there. That's exactly how you break a press. Always have somebody by the basket because it's a free basket every time. Showing it right there is Gretchen Koken. Fresh off the bench gets the easy two. It's 9-3 Mountain Union. And off the inbounds, it's a traveling violation by the Golden Tornadoes. And Cannon off the inbounds misses the shot. And the rebound here goes to the Golden Tornadoes. 
Geneva looks to come the other way with it. As Buhite guarded closely here by Schutze. And Buhite tries to give that over in the sidelines, but great defense at that by the freshman. Bailey Schutze forces the turnover, and the Raiders will come the other way with it. And Howie Ignacio, another freshman, seeing her first action as a Purple Raider here tonight, checks in. She's a freshman from Maslin Jackson High School. And also seeing her first action is the sophomore guard, number 11, Haley Haywood. As Ignacio right here is caught in a jump ball with the Golden Tornadoes. And possession arrow is in favor of Geneva. So there'll be a side out of bounds here for the, uh, for the Golden Tornadoes. Liggett now off the inbounds fires up a three from the top of the key it's no good and that appeared to be over the back did indeed as Gretchen Koken with a nice box out there of Mackenzie Barraclo Barraclo is going to be called for a second personal foul fourth of the quarter as another press up coming here now for Geneva Koken tries to inbound it to Hudick Hudick makes a nice catch right there, gives it up to Haley Haywood. Haywood now fires up a quick three in transition, and it's good! Haley Haywood from downtown extends that Raider lead, it's 12-3. Haywood returning the favor here on the defensive end with some nice defense. And St. Nicholas is going to go up for the layup, it's going to be called for a jump ball. And the Raiders now with the possession now. Great defense, Brian, as Mount Union really starting to take control of this game early on. They are indeed. They're playing some really good defense. It seems like they're reading all the passing lanes, making sure that everybody's covered. And that's for sure as Sierra Schossler, the freshman from Bishop Reddy High School, will see her first action now as a Purple Raider, checking in for the first time here tonight. And right on cue, Schossler has it in the corner. Schossler gives it down low. Nice ball movement here by the Purple Raiders. And it's another three. Audrey Livesay hits it from downtown. It's 15-3 Mount Union. Great ball movement here by the Purple Raiders. And all things are clicking as a steal on the other end. Gretchen Koken now coming the other way with it. Puts up the shot. It's no good. And a rebound to the Golden Tornadoes. I don't want to jinx it, but the Raiders are shooting 100% from three-point. That's a great way to start here is at the other end. There is the shootout. <laughs> there is the shootout indeed. It's number 24, Maddie Matthews gets on the scoreboard with the three-pointer. It's now 15-6. Ball heads out of bounds. Mount Union will have it side out of bounds here. It's live say. Will inbound it. Gives it up to Koken. Koken gives it up to Ignacio. Ignacio, the extra pass over in the corner to Haywood for three. And it's another one. They'll actually see it's a deep two right there from Haley Haywood. But the Raiders coming out firing on all cylinders. 17-6 at the other end. The Golden Tornadoes, that shootout Brian was just talking about. Abby Showoff hits it from deep. 17-9 as Haywood tries to save that ball off the inbound there for the Purple Raiders. Feet step out of bounds there. And the ball will head back to Geneva. It's after a quick break here, Bailey Schutze and Madison Hensley will check back in for Mount Union. So Golden Tornadoes will have it side out of bounds. Matthews gets it, shoots the ball at the top of the key. It's an air ball right there. Ball heads out of bounds and will go back to Mount Union. That's just not a very good shot. So Hensley here will inbound to Schutze. Schutze gives it up to Haywood. Haywood gives it up to another wide open Gretchen Koken. Koken puts up the shot and she is fouled. Adriana Campbell will be called on the foul there for the Golden Tornadoes. But great ball movement once again by Mount Union. Gretchen Koken heading to the line here for two. So Gretchen Koken, the senior from Harmony, Pennsylvania, puts up her first free throw and it's up and good. Makes the score 18-9 here with 4.34 left to go in this first quarter. The Raiders will be in the bonus for the remainder of the quarter as well as that was the fifth team foul of the quarter for Geneva. So Koken now puts up that second free throw and gets the friendly bounce off the rim and it's good. Makes it 19-9 Mount Union here. 
It's back the other way. Come the Golden Tornadoes. Nice defense there by Hensley. Hensley with the heads up defensive play. Knocks that off of Show Off over towards the sideline. And that ball is going out of bounds in favor of the Purple Raiders. Starting five returns here once again for Geneva. As Mount Union holding on to a 10 point lead here with 426 left to go in this first quarter. Schausser now swings it over in the corner, gives it up to Hensley who fires up a three, it's no good. Rebound to Haley Haywood, tried to kick that back out to Gretchen, coking just out of her reach. And that ball is heading back to the Golden Tornadoes. Geneva will have it here on the inbound, near five second call. So the Golden Tornadoes are just able to get that ball inbounds. Boo Height guarded closely here. Gives it up to San Nicholas. Back to Boo Height. Nice two-man action here. Extra pass over in the corner to Liggett. Liggett fires up a three. It's no good. And rebound here to the Purple Raiders. Haywood pushing the pace for Mount Union. So Haywood heads over towards that baseline. And he's going to get tied up on the play. It's a jump ball. Possession arrow in favor of the Golden Tornadoes. Emma Cannon checks back in here for the Purple Raiders. And also checking back in now for Mount Union is number 12, Michaela Dunkel. 3.55 left to go here in this first quarter. A nice defensive play once again by Bailey Schitza. Knocks that ball out of bounds. Ball will remain here with the Golden Tornadoes. And off the inbound here, Schitza with some nice pressure in the backcourt. Gets another steal, Bailey Schitza. It's a great start to her freshman season here. As down in the post, Dunkel tried to find Haley Haywood. That ball just heads out of bounds. And the ball will go back here to the Golden Tornadoes. But Brian, what are you seeing so far from this Mountain Union defense that's really causing some problems here for Geneva in the early goings? It's got to be the constant pressure. The constant pressure leads to easy uh, passing lane steals, and uh, that's how they've been getting most of their steals, through the passing lane or through just pressure. That's for sure, as Emily Buhite tries to get that ball over to number four, Mackenzie Barraclough. Ball heads out of bounds. It was deflected off a of Raider. It'll be side out of bounds here for Geneva. As Liggett swings that ball around to Buhite. Buhite down low inside to San Nicholas. And a nice strong take there from Mia San Nicholas. She's going to draw the foul here for Geneva. As the foul is going to go to Michaela Dunkel. That's going to be her second personal, team's third of the quarter. Dunkel's going to take a seat right here. As checking back in now for the Purple Raiders is Audrey Livesay. And San Nicholas heads to the line here for two. So San Nicholas, first free throw is up and good. Makes the score 19 to 10. As Mia San Nicholas is coming off a season where she averaged nearly 12 points per game and nine rebounds per game. One of the key contributors for Geneva. She hits the two free throws here and makes the score 19 to 11. As Hudick now with it for the Purple Raiders. Swings that ball around to Schutze. Schutze now drives inside, gives it up to Emma Cannon. Cannon now, let's pass the defender here, puts up a shot, and once again we will have the fourth jump ball of the quarter. As Cannon gets tied up with Tess Liggett. They're at the possession arrow in favor of the Purple Raiders. As Hudick inbounds it here to Livesay. As Live Say over here on the corner. Live Say fires a pass, but that one is stolen here by the Golden Tornadoes. As Geneva looks to come the other way with it here. And a nice pump fake here, but great recovery by Schutze. Comes away with the block. And on the other end, Madison Hensley is going to get called here with a carrying violation. So the ball will head back to Geneva. No, they will actually say an interesting call right there, Brian. So they're going to say that Geneva, fresh off the steal, gets called for the carry. Chaotic sequence right there. But it's in favor now of Mount Union. Schutzo is playing some really good defense right now. That is definitely for sure as Bailey Schutzo got the start here tonight. Her first ever game as a Purple Raider. 
just with one steal and one block, but she has definitely been providing constant pressure here tonight against the Geneva Golden Tornadoes. As Shetza has it now here in the backcourt. Shetza swings it over to Cannon. Cannon pump fakes, drives, swings it back out to Hudick. Hudick cross-court pass over to Hensley. Hensley driving baseline now. Great ball movement by the Raiders. That shot's up and no good. Geneva looks to come the other way with it here now. Buhite swings it over and firing up a three right there is Isabella Roth. And Isabella Roth, the three pointer cuts that Mountain Union lead to five. It's 19-14 Purple Raiders. It's at the other end, Hensley tries to return the with a three of her own, and it's good. Madison Hensley makes it 22-14 Purple Raiders. And that was all Hudick there. Hudick just draw the defender away with their eyes and just... That was a great pass, my bad. A great pass indeed, as a nice driving kick action. As the Golden Tornadoes look to put up a shot here, and it's no good there, the shot attempt by Barraclo. A rebound here to Mountain Union. Hensley pushing the pace now for the Raiders, puts up the shot, and it's going to be blocked by San Nicholas. And once again, we will have the platoon swap for Geneva for the final minute and 43 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Checking back in now for Mountain Union is number 13, Sierra Schlosser. As the Raiders will have it out of bounds here from underneath the basket. Hudick's pass right there, just a little bit high out of the reach of Madison Hensley. And that ball will head out of bounds and Geneva will have it going the other way. As Maddie Matthews now with it. Press coming once again here from the Purple Raiders. As Ibarra breaks that press, tries to get it down low inside the Campbell, and Campbell is going to draw the foul right here. The so foul is going to go on number 13, Sierra Schlossler. That's going to be her first personal, team's fourth. As the Golden Tornadoes will have it. Out of bounds here from underneath the basket. Haley Haywood checks back in here for Mount Union. And off the inbounds, Itsy Barr. She gives it up to Campbell. Campbell drives, kicks it back out. Some nice ball movement here by the Golden Tornadoes. A show off. Swings it back outside. And a nice defensive play there by the Purple Raiders. Coming away with the steal. Hudick now driving. Kicks it back out to Hayward, but Hudick had her foot on the baseline, out of bounds there. And the ball will head back to the Golden Tornadoes. Minute 18 left to go here. Nice defensive play once again by Schitzer. Schitzer puts up the shot, and it's no good, but Bailey Schitzer, defense turns into offense. She draws the foul. She's heading to the free throw line now for two. But Brian, we've been talking so far about Schutza and her work on the defensive end. How really can defense turn into offense? Like how we're seeing so far from the Purple Raiders, they already have 23 points on the board here in the first quarter. Well, after a steal, uh, the offense is turning to defense, so it, it really takes time to adjust, and they have to run all the way back. So if you have somebody down there, you can just throw the pass down and get an easy bucket. That's why steals are so good in a game. That's for sure, as Schutz's two free throws are up and good, and those are her first two points in her Mountain Union career. 24-14 now with a minute 10 left to go here in this first quarter. As over here towards the sidelines, Matthews is going to get tangled up right there with Schutz once again. A great defensive play by her. Position arrow in favor of Geneva here, though. Minute six left to go in the quarter. As the Golden Tornado is looking to put some points on the board, Herring now swings it back out on the perimeter to Matthews. Matthews hands it off outside, firing up a three right there is number 14, Abby Showoff. Her three is no good. Campbell with the hustle play there for Geneva. That ball heads out of bounds. And now we will have it here now. 52 seconds left to go in the quarter. Ali Ignacio checks back in here for Mountain Union for the final 52 seconds of the quarter as Kanan inbounds it to Ignacio. Ignacio now gives it back over to Emma Cannon. Cannon back over to Ignacio. 
As the Golden Tornadoes come away with a trap here, it gives that ball back up to Cannon. Cannon puts up the shot, it's no good. But a foul will be called here on Geneva. Whistle for the foul is number 13, Lily Ibarra. For Ibarra, it's going to be her first personal. It's a penalty situation. Emma Cannon's going to head to the free throw line here. 37 seconds left to go in the quarter. It's Cannon's first free throw is up and good. Cannon now with three points here in the quarter. It's 25-14 in favor of the Purple Raiders. And Cannon's second free throw is up and good as well, making the score 26-14 here in favor of Mount Union. Ignacio putting on the pressure here. Swings that ball over to Campbell. Campbell now crosses over, heads over into the lane, but she's going to be called for the carry once again. Mount Union's defense has come to play so far here tonight. It's 27 seconds left to go. The Raiders can hold it here for the final shot of the quarter. It's Cannon now drives. A wide open lane. Emma Cannon puts up the layup. It's no good. Rebound goes to the Golden Tornadoes. And trying to come the other way with it. Ignacio comes away with the steal. Gives it up to Cannon. Cannon is going to get fouled though on her take to the hoop. As the whistle will be blown right there on Adriana Campbell. That's going to be her second personal foul. Once again, a penalty situation. And Emma Cannon will head to the free throw line here. 13 seconds left to go in the quarter. It's Cannon's first free throw is up and good. Makes the score 27-14 in favor of the Purple Raiders. And Cannon's second free throw is also good here. 28-14 Mountain Union, 13 seconds left to go in the corner. Matthews almost turns that ball over in the corner here for Geneva. As Campbell now heads over towards the middle of the court. Extra pass over in the corner. It's show off for three. No good rebound aggression. Kokin, and that is how the first quarter is going to end. A dominant first quarter there for the Mountain Union Purple Raiders on top of this one by a score of 28 to 14. Brian, your overall thoughts there on that first quarter for Mountain Union? That was <clears throat> that was a really good uh, first half for the Purple Raiders as their shooting percentage at first was amazing. It was 100% from three, but now they're currently 80%, which 80% is amazing to have in college. 4 of 5, we're, I feel like Geneva is forcing threes, they're 3 of 11 from 3, Geneva is 25% from field goal, I just, I feel like the Raiders have played a, a much better complete game, they're making actual passes, whereas Geneva seems to just be throwing the ball, and that's how a lot of the steals have come from Mount Union. Yeah, that's for sure, as the Purple Raiders did a great job, like how Brian mentioned, really forcing a lot of turnovers now, we kind of talked about it at the top of the broadcast here, partner, now. We kind of said both teams would probably be turning the ball over a little bit more than normal. Each team with 10 turnovers in that first quarter. However, the Purple Raiders really doing a nice job here so far in this one. They have seven points off turnovers compared to just four points off turnovers for Geneva. But really a great job all around there by the Purple Raiders as the leading scorers here so far for Mount Union. Ali Kudik, Haley Haywood, and Emma Cannon each with six points here tonight. Russell, too, we kind of got to talk about this Bailey Schutze here. First game here for the Purple Raiders. She's really setting the defensive tone here early this season. It really is. Three steals and one block. It's really going to have in the first quarter. That is for <laughs> sure. As the Raiders will come back out onto the court here. They are on top by a score of 28-14. to 14. As for the Purple Raiders, they will roll out with the five of Hallie Ignacio, Madison Hensley, Emma Cannon, Haley Haywood, and Gretchen Koken. And for Geneva, it'll be the starting five once again here. Isabella Roth, Emily Buhite, Mackenzie Barraclo, Tess Liggett, and Mia San Nicholas to get things going here in the second quarter. As Ignacio has it now for Mount Union. She gives it up to Emma Cannon. Cannon swings that ball over to Haley Haywood now. As Haywood back over to Cannon. Cannon drives, but she traveled right there. One too many steps will send that ball back to the Golden Tornadoes. So Liggett inbounds it here to Buhite. Buhite gives it up to Barrico. Back over to Buhite. Drives baseline, fires up a layup. It's no good. Rebound goes to Gretchen Koken. 
Koken now pushing the pace here, gives it up to Cannon. Cannon puts up the layup, it's no good. Rebound to Hensley. Hensley fires it out to Ignacio for the three, and Howie Ignacio off the extra pass hits it from downtown. So Ignacio with her first three points as a Purple Raider makes the score 31-14 and getting it done at the other end as well. Ignacio comes away with the steal. Here come the Raiders as Hensley puts up the shot. It's no good. Rebound off the fingertips of Koken, but it was knocked out of bounds by the Golden Tornadoes. Ball will remain here with the Purple Raiders. But Brian, what a sequence there by Ignacio. A wide open three and then a great defensive play at the other end. Yeah, really good play. Really good hustle on the steal. And just a really good uh, form shot on the three-pointer. As off the inbound, Koken pump fakes and drives, puts up the shot, it's no good. And a whistle, and we're going to get the first foul here of the second quarter. The foul's going to go on Haley Haywood, her first personal, team's first here of the quarter. Geneva will come the other way with it here quickly. Swaff gives it up to San Nicholas. San Nicholas swings that back on out to Barraclo. Barraclo's shot is no good. Rebound goes to Hensley. Raiders once again look to push the pace here. Hensley with a beautiful pass inside. Emma Cannon gets to the rim for the easy two. It's 33-14. Raiders not afraid to run that fast break here so far today. Is Roth fires up a three at the other end, and it's good. And Isabella Roth makes it 33-17. As Haywood now pushes the pace, gives it up to Kokanu, fires up a three of her own. It's in and out, no good. Fast pace play from both sides here now, Brian. As Roth fires up a three. This is definitely a shootout. It is definitely a shootout in They both want the three. Both want the three as well as Isabella Roth now with nine points. It's a game high for either side. Makes the score 33-20. It's Cannon now on the perimeter. Gives it up to Hensley. Hensley now swings it over to the corner to Ignacio. Nice pass inside to Koken. Great ball movement here by the Raiders as Cannon fires up a three. That's short. Ball heads out of bounds. And the Golden Tornadoes will have it. So Golden Tornadoes will come back out with a new five. Lily Ybarra, Abby Shoff, Maddie Matthews, Taylor Herring, and Adriana Campbell. And for the Purple Raiders, Ali Hudik will check back in here, as well as Bailey Schutze and number 21, Audrey, Audrey Livesay. It's a quick three once again here by the Golden Tornadoes. This is no good. Rebound goes to Hensley. Hensley pushes the pace, gives it up to Hudik. Hudik fires the shot. It's a bit long, and a rebound goes to Campbell. Campbell now swings the ball over to Matthews. Matthews swings it over to Shaw for three. That one's no good. And that ball goes off of the Geneva player's foot right there. And the ball will head back to the Purple Raiders. 7-17 left to go here in the first half. Mount Union on top of this one by a score of 33-20. As Schutzen now gives it up to Hudik. Hudik now back over to Schutze. And Schutze now gives it up to Ignacio. Ignacio now. Driving, gives it up, and that one's stolen away by Matthews. Nice play there by Matthews as she gives it up to Campbell. Campbell drives, goes up for the shot, and she's going to get fouled on the play. Foul's going to be called right there on Bailey Schutze. And a nice take, and Adriana Campbell is going to head to the free throw line now for two. So Adriana Campbell will head to the line here for two. It's Campbell's a freshman from Ashtabula, Ohio, Lakeside High School. It's Campbell's first free throw is up and no good. Makes the score 33-20 still here at the MAC. It's Campbell puts up the second free throw, and that one wins out as well. And the rebound by Livesay. The Raiders go the other way with it here quickly now. It shuts up. Back out to Livesay. Livesay drives. Puts up the shot. It's no good. Offensive rebound goes to Schutze. And putbacks. No good. Rebound to the Golden Tornadoes. And Schutze, a, great a great steal once again indeed. As Schutze goes the other way with it. No good. Rebound by Ali Hudik. And Hudik puts it up and in. The Raiders on top now. 35-20. But once again, Bailey Schutze coming up with a great defensive play. 
Geneva looks to come the other way with it now. Herring now drives baseline, puts up the shot. It's no good. And we're going to get a kick ball violation, they will say, on the Purple Raiders. So the ball will remain here with the Golden Tornadoes. As the Golden Tornadoes bring their starting five back out onto the court. Emma Cannon and Gretchen Koken return here for Mount Union. 35-20 in favor of the Purple Raiders. As Liggett now looks to drive here. He swings it back out, but it's stolen away once again by the Purple Raiders. Schutze coming the other way with it now. Schutze puts up the layup. It's no good. Offensive rebound by Koken. Koken's shot's going to be blocked right there by Mackenzie Barraclow. But that ball will remain here with the Purple Raiders. Schutze now will inbound it from underneath the basket. He gives it up to Gretchen Koken. Koken gives it up to Schutze. Schutze back over to Koken. So Raiders just look to move the ball around here now. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Shits an extra pass over to wide open Emma Cannon who fires up a three and it's good. The extra pass once again. Emma Cannon makes it 38 20 Mount Union. At the other end, a quick basket here by the Golden Tornadoes is Isabella Roth with 11 points now and this one makes it 38 22 as Hudick now drives. Tries to swing it back out to Gretchen Koken just out of her reach. And the ball will head back to Geneva now. But Brian, we've seen some nice offense here now from the Purple Raiders. Kind of talk about the importance right there of the extra pass. We saw it right there on that three from Emma Cannon. How important is it to kind of swing it over just one extra pass there? I mean, it, it's a better shot. Like, either there's a better shooter wide open. It's it's always better to have the open pass or the extra pass. That's for it sure. It's a better shot. That's for sure indeed. It's here at the other end. A quick three fired up by number three. Emily Buhay, that one's no good. Raiders come the other way with it here. Schlosser checks back in for Mount Union. She gives it up to Bailey Schutzer who fires up a three. And Schutzer holds the form on that one. As five points now for the freshman makes it 41-22 Mount Union. Has fired up another three at the other end. Isabella Roth, that one's no good. Hudick now looking to come the other way with it. Puts up the shot and that one's no good. Rebound goes to the Golden Tornadoes. As Roth now with it, looks to drive, and that one's taken away here by Gretchen Koken. Koken coming the other way with it, gives it up to Hudick. Hudick down low inside to Cannon, puts up the shot. And Cannon's shot is blocked right there by Barraclay. And the ball goes out of bounds. And it'll stay here with the Purple Raiders. As a platoon swap once again here now for Geneva, and Haley Haywood will re-enter the game now for Mount Union. Schutzer inbounds it here to Koken. Hands it right back off to Schutzer. Gives it up to Cannon at the top of the key. Cannon now back over to Haywood. Extra pass over to Koken. Koken fires up the three. That one's no good. Offensive rebound though goes to the Purple Warriors. Nice hustle by Haywood. That ball is deflected out of bounds by the Golden Tornadoes. And Mount Union will maintain possession here. 16 seconds left to go on the shot clock. As Koken now, inbounds it to Schlosser. Schlosser gives it back to Koken. And Koken now gives it up to Haley Haywood. Seven seconds on the shot clock as Haywood gives it up to Schutze. Three seconds. Schutze gives it up to Koken. Koken puts up the shot right as the shot clock expires. And it's good. 43-22 Mount Union. Golden Tornadoes look to come the other way with it. Layup is up. And no good right there by Ibarra. Pushing the pace now are the Purple Raiders. Schlosser now with it. Gives it up to Koken. Koken gives it up to Cannon. Cannon drives baseline. Emma Cannon now swings it over to Schlosser. And the pass right there deflected intended for Koken. But Koken does pick it up for the Purple Raiders. Gives it up to Cannon now here with nine seconds on the shot clock. Cannon looks to drive. Swings it back out to Schlosser. That ball heads out of bounds and will head over to Geneva as Ignacio checks back in now for the Purple Raiders, as does Madison Hensley.
3.16 left to go here in this first half. Mount Union on top by a score of 43-22 here in the regular season opener as Hensley comes away with the steal. Hensley going the other way with it, puts up the layup, and it's good. The dominant ways continue here for the Raiders. It's 45-22. Once again, Mount Union comes away with the steal here. Emma Cannon on the double team comes away with it. Hensley now going the other way, puts up the shot. It's no good. Offensive rebound though to Haywood. Haywood gives it up to Hensley, fires up the shot. That's no good. Rebound to the Golden Tornadoes. Zibara now looks to drive, gives it up to Matty Matthews. Matthews swings that ball around. And a drive here by Schultz, but it's no good. Rebound to Haywood. Haywood now looking to push the pace. That pass just out of the reach of Ignacio. Ball heads out of bounds. And Geneva will have possession as the Geneva starting five returns to the floor here and seeing their first action here in the young season now for the Purple Raiders is number 32, Mila Klein, and also number 44, Sierra Horney for the Purple Raiders. Horney is the freshman from Cedarville High School in Yellow Springs, Ohio. Geneva looking to drive here. And that ball heads down to the floor. Jump ball. Possession arrow in favor of the Golden Tornadoes. 2-12 left to go here in this first half. As Liggett now looks to inbound it here. Liggett gives it up to Roth. Back over to Liggett. As the Golden Tornadoes look to swing that ball around Barrick low. Down low inside to San Nicholas and San Nicholas puts up the shot. It's good. 45-24 in favor of Mount Union. Tony now gives it up. Cross court to Haywood. Haywood now over to Klein. Klein trapped in the corner. Has that ball knocked out of bounds. Ball will remain here with the Purple Raiders. It's 20 seconds here on the shot clock. And Haywood now inbounds it to Ignacio. Ignacio gives it up to Klein. Klein looks to drive, puts up the shot. That one's blocked. And Geneva looks to come the other way with it now. Bullheit gives it up to Roth. Roth now swings that ball over in the corner. And taking the hit right there. Four Mount Union still down at the other end with the shot. is no good by Haywood. And Madison Hensley took the shot in the face down on the ground. A considerable pain right there. As both teams head over towards the sidelines here. Hensley being tended to now by the medical staff. Took a shot to the face. A minute 21 left to go here in this first half. Mount Union on top by a score of 45 to 24. It's definitely not something you don't want to see. It seemed like the Geneva player just kind of rocketed at uh, her face. And that's for sure as Hensley's still being tended to down there on the Mount Union baseline. Definitely just looked like a shot to the face right there. Hensley is able to get up underneath her own power, so that is a great sight to see there for Mount Union. So Hensley will now be tended to over on that sideline. As Gretchen Koken will check back in now for the final minute 21 for the Purple Raiders. As Liggett now will have it for Geneva. Now San Nicholas down low in the post. Looks to go to work. Pass that ball out, but San Nicholas is going to be called here for the traveling violation. So that's the Golden Tornado's 18th turnover here now of this first half. With a minute 10 left to go here in this first half. Koken's pass knocked out of bounds by Roth. Ball will remain here with the Purple Raiders. Now Horny gives it up to Haywood. Haywood swings it back over to Koken. Koken down low to Ignacio. Extra pass out to Haywood. Great ball movement. 
Haywood shot is no good. Rebound goes to the Golden Tornadoes. Less than a minute to go here now in this first half. As Barraclo fires up the shot, that one's no good. And the ball will head back now to the Purple Raiders. So Haywood here inbounds it to Ignacio. Ignacio now looking to push the pace, gives it up to a wide open Gretchen Coconut in the corner, fires up a three, that's no good. Rebound though to Haley Haywood, she puts up the shot, and the second chance effort is good. Haley Haywood now with seven points, makes it 47-24 Mount Union, 30 seconds left to go in the half. Golden Tornadoes now, swing it over in the corner. And the three-pointer is up and no good. Rebound goes to San Nicholas. San Nicholas out to Liggett. Liggett now down low. Has that pass intercepted there by Horney. Horney now gives it up to Ignacio. Here. Ten seconds left to go in the half. Ignacio, the extra pass over to Koken. He fires up the open three, and it's good. The exclamation point on the first half as Gretchen Koken makes it 50-24. to 24 As time expires here in this first half, Mount Union putting on a show on the offensive and defensive and scored 50 to 24. Brian, your overall thoughts here on that first half? Just a dominating performance from uh, from Mount Union. From every aspect of the floor, just shooting, defending, passing, you name it. They, they've won in every single area. I feel like the stats would show it. Yeah, that is definitely for sure. Those stats that Brian's talking about here in Mount Union shot 37% in that first half from the floor, while Geneva 25% from the floor here in this first half. Geneva also 25% from deep, but this is kind of what we've been talking about all throughout the broadcast. Mount Union 8 for 13 from the three-point line, 61% here in this first half. Also did not miss a free throw in the first half as well, and out-rebounded the Golden Tornadoes by 10. That has allowed the Purple Raiders to come out to a big lead here in this one. They are on top 50 to 24. We are going to pause for the halftime break here, but be back on the live stream as you're in Mount Union Purple Raider women's basketball team on top by a score of 50 to 24.
back here getting you ready for second half action here at the McPherson Academic and Athletic Complex here, the University of Mountain Union as the women's basketball home opener here tonight. The Mountain Union women's basketball team on top by a score of 50 to 24. Jacob Batar alongside me, we have Brian Martel. Brian, we kind of talked about it. You put it perfectly right before the halftime break. Just pure dominance here so far mm -hmm. for the Purple Raiders. Why don't you take us through some stats here so far for Mountain Union that's led to really just a dominant performance so far. Yeah, so in terms of uh, total field goals uh, being shot, Mount Union has 46, and Geneva only has 31. Uh, Mount Union has uh, converted on 17 of those, whereas Geneva has converted on 8, which leads to a field goal percentage of 25.8% for Geneva and 37% for Mount Union. In three-point percentage, Geneva had a 25% as they shot 5 of 20, and Mount Union shot 61 and a half by shooting 8 of 13, which is a, re a really good percentage to have in, a, in college basketball. Honestly, anywhere, NBA basketball, 61.5% is amazing for three-point percentage. At free throws, Geneva shot three of seven, and Mount Union has converted on all eight of their free throws, leading to 100% free throw percentage. Uh, the Raiders have also dominated on rebounds, as they have 28 total rebounds compared to Geneva's 17 rebounds. Um, and the Raiders have 12 offensive rebounds compared to Geneva's three offensive rebounds, which is it's really crazy. Uh, time with lead, the Raiders have 19 minutes and 36 seconds, which has been the entire game because Geneva has never had the lead. Uh, and that'll do it for the stats. Besides the assists, the Raiders have 13 compared to Geneva's 5 assists. Yeah, that's a great stat to point out as well. 13 assists in that first half for Mount Union on 17 made field goals as the Purple Raiders will have the ball to start this second half. Those starting five will be on the floor here as Emma Cannon, Michaela Dunkel, Bailey Schutzer, Madison Hensley, and Ali Hudick will be on the court here to start the second half for Mount Union as Schutze tries to feed that ball down low inside the Dunkel, but that ball is taken away here by the Golden Tornadoes to start this second half as Mia San Nicholas gets to the rim for the easy two to get things going here for Geneva in the second half. A lot of good passes there from Geneva to get something going. For sure, as defense leads to offense, we saw that a lot from the Purple Raiders, and Geneva returns the favor here to start the second half as Emma Cannon's three is up and no good. Rebound goes here to Geneva. As the Golden Tornadoes push it the other way quickly, and Tess Liggett gets the three to go, and it's 50 to 29 here in favor of the Purple Raiders. Very good decision to give it off there by the Geneva player. Led to an open three, and uh, Geneva converted. Cannon will have it here for Mount Union at the other end. She gives it down low inside to Michaela Dunkel. Dunkel puts up the shot. It's no good. Rebound goes to San Nicholas. As the Golden Tornadoes off to a 5-0 start here in this second half. Down low inside they go to San Nicholas. San Nicholas going baseline. Nice extra pass over to Roth for the three, and it's good. An 8-0 run to start this second half. Geneva makes it 50-32. And some really good extra passes, as you mentioned, by Geneva, leading to some open threes, open layups. Just some good ball movement all around from Geneva, just to start the half. That's for sure. Just a minute and a half into this second half, the Golden Tornadoes have cut into this Mount Union lead, an 8-0 run to start the second half, makes it 50-32. to Susie Vanette uses the first of her timeouts here. But Brian, so far, what have you seen differently from Geneva? It's only been in a minute and a half, but they're definitely looking a lot more crisper on the offensive end. What have you seen that's been different so far in the second half? It appears they actually want to win. Like, I, 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 I'm just stating as uh, plain as I see it, I see some intensity, which they didn't show in the first half. Yeah, that's a great way to put it here is out of the timeout break. Emma Cannon will have it now for Mount Union. This Cannon's going closely here by Tess Liggett. And Cannon gives it up to Schutze. Schutze over to Hudick. Gives it over to Madison Hensley. Hensley now swings that ball around. Dunkel. Dunkel will give it up to Hensley. But we have a foul call here near the three-point line. And the foul is going to go on Isabella Roth. It's going to be her second personal first team foul of this third quarter. As Hudick now. We inbound it to Madison Hensley. Hensley looks to drive, puts up the teardrop. That's no good. Rebound goes to San Nicholas. 
Roth looking to come the other way with it now for the Golden Tornadoes. Off to a quick start here in this second half. San Nicholas drives, puts up the shot. It's good. The first 10 points of this second half goes to Geneva. Just a tough way up there. 50 to 34 is at the other end. Hensley puts up the three. It's no good. Cannon tried to come in with the offensive rebound. Ball goes out of bounds. And it'll head back to the Golden Tornadoes. As Gretchen Koken and Audrey Love say, we'll check back in for the Purple Raiders here to start this second half, their first two substitutions. So here come the Golden Tornadoes. Barraclo gives it up down low inside. That ball is taken away there by Lovso. Hudick now looking to come the other way with it for Mount Union, looking for their first points of this second half. Hudick now with it, gives it back over to Emma Cannon. Cannon wants to find Livesey down low, and she's able to do so. Now out to Cannon once again. Cannon drives, puts up the layup, and she draws the foul. Nice, strong take there by Emma Cannon. She's going to head to the free throw line here for two. Uh, some substitutions here now for Geneva. As Matthews, Herring, and Kimball will re-enter the game now for Geneva. As Emma Cannon heads to the free throw line for two. And Cannon's first shot is up and good. As Cannon was Mount Union's leading scorer from a year ago. She's done the same here so far tonight with 12 points. Puts up the second free throw and it's good. 52-34 in favor of the Purple Raiders. Campbell now will give this up to Herring. Herring now, extra pass over to Matthews. Matthews thought about the three, so he gives it down low inside to Sam Nicholas, who puts up the shot, and Sam Nicholas is going to draw the foul here. So that foul is going to be called on Bailey Schutze, and Mia Sam Nicholas heads to the line here for two. So Sam Nicholas, first free throw is up, and it is good. Makes the score 52-35. And the second free throw is also up and good. San Nicholas now with 10 points. The second Golden Tornado joining Isabella Rath to score in double figures here tonight. As Schutze hands it off to Hudick here. Hudick now gives it up to Emma Cannon. Cannon gives it up. To Livesey, Livesey fires up a three, it's no good. Rebound there to Ali Hudick, and the offensive rebound pays off. It's 54-36, Mount Union. Hudick was in the right position to get the offensive rebound, and an easy putback from there. Easy putback indeed as Hudick gets it done on the defensive side of the ball as well, knocks that ball out of bounds. The ball will remain here with Geneva. It's Maddie Matthews will inbound it here. Golden Tornado is looking to cut into this Mount Union lead just a little bit more as Campbell tried to drive inside, draws the personal. Foul is going to go on Bailey Schutze. Schutze went for yet another steal as Brian and I were mentioning throughout that first half, Bailey Schutze very active so far on the defensive side. Five steals in that first half for the Mount Union freshman. As here off the inbound. Roth now with it, gives it up to Sam Nicholas. Sam Nicholas fires up the shot, and it's good. Makes the score 54-38 now in favor of Mount Union. It's coming the other way with it. Gretchen Koken gives it up to Emma Cannon. Cannon now swings it over to Ali Hudick. To down low inside to Livesey. Livesey puts up the shot, and it's good. Nice take right there by the freshman as Audrey Livesey makes it 56-38. Back the other way come the Golden Tornadoes and a quick shot. It's up and in from the elbow. Number 32, Taylor Herring gets it to go. It's 56-40. Schutze now picks up the dribble, gives it up to Emma Cannon. Cannon looks to drive, puts up the layup, and that one's just off no good. The rebound goes to the Golden Tornadoes. Geneva. Looking to come to this lead a little bit more here is Roth. Has it on the perimeter. Gives it up to Herring. Herring back over to Roth. He fires up a corner three. That's no good. Fight for the rebound. And Schutze has it now for Mount Union. Schutze gives it up to Cannon. 
McKinnon now. The extra pass over to Hudick, and Hudick's layup is no good. Offensive rebound, though, to Emma McKinnon, and the second chance points are good. And that ball heads out of bounds. Great defense by the Purple Raiders. Mount Union will regain possession. Cannon had Koken wide open, but it all paid out. It all, paid, it all worked out. <coughs> all worked out indeed as a bunch of substitutions here for both sides. Madison Hensley, as well as Haley Hayward, Halle Ignacio, and Sierra Schlosser will check back in now for the Purple Raiders. As off the inbound, Ali Hudick with a great cut to the basket gets to the rim for the easy two. And Ali Hudick has 11 points now, makes it 60 to 40. So here come the Golden Tornadoes. Look at that ball around the perimeter to Buhite. Buhite gives it up to Shelf. Shelf gives it up to Ibarra. Ibarra now on the perimeter. Gives that ball back up to Barraclough. Barrick around now gives it up to Shelf. And we have a foul here. It's going to be called on Howie Ignacio. So that's going to be Ignacio's first personal. And my apologies, second personal foul there on Ignacio. Third of the quarter for the Raiders as Ibarra puts up the three. That shot short, no good. Rebound goes to Boo Height. That's Geneva with the second chance opportunity here now. Trying to feed that ball inside to Ibarra. She's just able to save it. Gives that extra pass out to Boo Height. Boo Height hits the three from the corner, makes it 60 to 43 Mount Union. Ignacio now gives it up to Hensley. Hensley now fires up a three at the other end, just short. Schlosser tries to save it for the Purple Raiders. That ball heads out of bounds, and Geneva will regain possession. So 60 to 43 here in favor of Mount Union. Blue height now swings it out to Barracrow. Barracrow puts up the shot, and the acrobatic layup hits the top of the hoop. That ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Raider basketball. Good idea, but a little too much strength on an acrobatic layup. As Mia San Nicholas will check back in now for the Golden Tornadoes after a quick breather. And Emma Cannon does the same for Mount Union. So far, Geneva has outscored Mount Union 19 to 10 in this third quarter. As Ignacio with it now. Ignacio looks to drive, kicks it back out to Hensley. Hensley fires up a shot that's no good. Rebound goes to Schlosser. Schlosser's put back is blocked. And Emma Cannon comes up with the third chance now for Mount Union. Has that ball stripped away. Blue Height now heads to the ground. No foul called as the Raiders are going to come away with the steal. Haley Haywood now gives it up to Cannon. Cannon fires up the three just short. And the rebound goes to the Golden Tornadoes. Roth looks to drive at the other end, and Ignacio is going to get called for the foul. So it's going to be Ignacio's third personal foul now, fourth team foul of the quarter. So it'll be side out of bounds here for Geneva. Ignacio is going to take a seat as Schitzer re enters the game now for Mount Union. Roth now with it on the perimeter. Gives it up to Buhite. Buhite looks to drive. Puts up the shot and it's no good. Rebound goes to San Nicholas and Mia San Nicholas gets the put back to go. San Nicholas now is up to 14 points and 60 to 45. So Haywood gives it up to Schlosser. Schlosser now over to Hensley. Hensley drives, puts up the shot and it's blocked. It's Barraclow now looking to drive. Has that ball deflected by Hensley. She'll give it up to Buhite. Buhite now back over to Barraclough. Barraclough looks to drive, and she's going to get fouled there on the perimeter by Madison Hensley. For Hensley, that's going to be her second personal foul. And it's going to be the fifth team foul of the quarter. So Geneva in the bonus here. And Barraclough is going to head to the free throw line for two. As Barraclough's first free throw is up and no good. Score remains 60 to 45. 
So Michaela Dunkel and Gretchen Koking just checked back in as well. This last stoppage in play is both free throws. No good there from Merrick Lowe. Schitzer looks to come the other way. Nice pass down low inside. Emma Kanan with a strong finish makes it 62-45. Schitzer with a really good inside pass there. Great pass indeed is at the other end. Haley Haywood comes away with the steal. Haywood's going to give it up to Gretchen Koken. Koken now extra pass back out to Haywood who fires up the open three. It's no good. Rebound goes to the Golden Tornadoes. Roth looking to drive the other way. Puts up the shot. It's no good. The rebound to Dunkel. Dunkel now gives it up to Schutza. And Schutza, nice pass down low inside to Cannon. Cannon, extra pass over to Koken. Koken now gives it back to Haley Hayward who fires up the open three. That's no good. Long rebound out to Schutza though in the corner. He fires up a three of her own. No good. Rebound to Koken. The Raiders working that offensive glass. Schutze has it now here, 13 seconds on the shot clock, gives it to Kenny, fires up a three, no good. And the rebound goes to the Golden Tornadoes, and a foul is going to be called on Michaela Dunkel. Geneva in the bonus here, and Mackenzie Barclay is going to head back to the free throw line for some more free throws. Brian, really nothing comes of that last offensive possession for the Purple Raiders, but they do come away with three offensive rebounds. How important is it for Mount Union, as we've seen so far here tonight, to really control the offensive glass? Second chance points. It's it's what you want. An offensive rebound is perfect. You get a second chance at scoring because you missed the first one. <laughs> it's just it's good to have. That's for sure. As Barrick Lowe hits both free throws there. Ali Hudick checked back in for Mount Union at that last stoppage in play. Taylor Herring and Abby Schof also check in now for Geneva. As Hudick now gives it up to Emma Cannon. Cannon now over here at the top of the key gives it up to Hudick. Hudick down low inside gives it up to Koken. Koken puts up the shot. It's no good. Rebound to San Nicholas. San Nicholas gives it up to Taylor Herring. It's been all Geneva here in this third quarter. Herring puts up the shot. And she's going to get fouled on the play as Gretchen Koken is going to get whistled for the foul. Her first personal. Geneva once again in the bonus here. Taylor Herring is going to head to the line now for two. Herring's first free throw is up. It is good. 62-48. In favor of the Mount Union Purple Raiders. Tearing second free throw is up and good as well. Makes the score 62 49. As Schutzen now looks across midcourt. And Schutzen will take a screen from Dunkel. Fires up a deep two. Schutzen's shot is no good. Rebound though goes to Koken. Koken puts up the shot. No good. Another offensive rebound here for Emma Cannon with a minute to go in this third quarter. Schutza fires up a shot from the free throw line. No good there. Cannon pushed from behind is going to draw the foul. So the Raiders crashing that offensive glass once again. And not quite in the bonus yet are the Purple Raiders. So they will have an out of bounds underneath the basket here. 20 seconds on the shot clock, 55 seconds on the game clock. Hudick inbounds it to Emma Cannon. Cannon now looking to drive baseline. Oh, that ball is stolen away here by Campbell. Campbell re-enters the game here for Geneva. And Campbell tried to keep her footing there, but shuffles her shoes. It's going to be a traveling violation. Ball heads back to Mount Union. Schutzen now with it here for the Purple Raiders. Schutzen gives it up to Koken. Koken fakes the three drives. Now puts up the layup. That's no good. And Koken gets her own miss. Puts up the shot. And Gretchen Koken gets it to go. An and one opportunity now for the senior. Koken with a really strong layup and a really strong rebound. That's exactly what the Raiders needed right now to put away Geneva. That's for sure as Gretchen Koken makes it 64-49. And Koken's 
Free throw is up and good. It's an and one for the senior. Gretchen Cooking now with 12 points in this one. Makes it 65-49. As a three at the other end is up and good. Emily Buhite continues this dominant quarter now for Geneva. It's now 65-52. It's Cooking now with it. With 13 seconds left to go in the quarter. Koken dumps it down low inside the cannon. That layup's no good. Rebound to Dunkel. Dunkel fires out to shuts up for the three. No good. Once again, another opportunity now for the Raiders with two seconds left. Shuts up, tries to get it to Koken. Koken puts up the layup. And we'll see. And they count it. Gretchen Koken gets it to go. It's 67-52. Brian, the fireworks to end the third quarter. It was a huge buzzer beater. I, I personally didn't think it, it would count, but I think the Raiders will take uh, an extra two. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. They will definitely indeed as a strong third quarter there from Geneva. Taking a look at those third quarter stats, the Golden Tornadoes outscored Mount Union 29-17 to in that quarter alone. Geneva shot 64% from the field, Mount Union just 24% from the field. And Brian, we kind of talked about it at halftime. 8 for 13 in that first half, Mount Union was from the three-point line. 0 for 10 in that third quarter. So kind of cooling down here. What would you like to see from Mount Union as they still have a comfortable 15-point lead? They try to close out this regular season opener here today. I think at this point, you really don't need three-pointers. I think what you should do is just try to find strong shots because you're shooting 24.1% in the third quarter. It's not 0 for 10 from... You, you really just seem like you're forcing threes at that point if you shot 10 and haven't made a single one. I would look for easy inside buckets that are set off off-ball screens. Just easy buckets like that. Off steals, you can get transition points. As long as they play strong defense, I think they can really close out Geneva here. Yeah, that's for sure. If uh, Geneva shoots like this, 66.7% from three, I definitely think they can come back. They're definitely not out of the picture. Yeah, that's definitely for sure. As Mount Union, like how Brian mentioned, just struggling there in the field from that three-point line. 0 for 10 in that third quarter. But really, Mount Union keeping the possessions alive. They had 11 offensive rebounds in that third quarter, still holding on to that 14-point lead. The Raiders up by 26 at the halftime break. For Mount Union, it is going to be Gretchen Koken, Bailey Schutze, Dunkel, Ali Hudik, and Emma Cannon out there on the floor. The starting five for the Purple Raiders, and Schutze with it now. Schutze gives it up to Emma Cannon. Cannon swings it over to Hudik. Hudik now out on the perimeter, gives it up to Koken. Koken looks to drive baseline, and Gretchen Koken with a strong take is going to draw the foul. Foul's going to be called on Adriana Campbell. That's going to be her third personal first team foul here of this fourth quarter. Raiders will have it out of bounds from underneath the basket as Cannon tried to give that up to Hudik. That ball's knocked out of bounds. Will remain purple ready to basketball here. Hudik now inbounds it to Emma Cannon. Cannon now looking to drive, puts up the shot. And Cannon with the strong take draws the foul. And Emma Cannon, she's already got 20 points here tonight, looking to add on to that. She heads to the free throw line here for two. So Emma Cannon, his first free throw is up, no good. Cannon once again averaged around 14 points per game last year for the Purple Raiders. And this year, picking up right where she left off as she now has 21 points here in this regular season opener. Makes it 68-53 in favor of the Purple Raiders as Koken almost comes away with the steal here. That ball heads out of bounds. Geneva will have it here side out of bounds in the backcourt. As Barraclay will give it up to Herring. Herring now looking to drive. Swings it back out to Buhite. Buhite now gives it up to Barraclay once again. Back to Buhite as Geneva looks to swing that ball around. And up for the layup. It is good. A nice take by Taylor Herring. Lays it 68-55. Cannon looks to feed Gretchen Koken down low inside. Koken swings it back out to Cannon. As Cannon draws the double team, gives it up to Ali Hudik. 
Hudick down low inside the Dunkel. Deflected off Dunkel's fingertips back into the hands of Hudick who fires up a layup. It's no good. Rebound goes to the Golden Tornadoes. Barraclo at the other end puts up a quick layup. It's no good. A nice strong rebound there by Michaela Dunkel as Cannon now at the other end dumps that off to Ali Hudick. Pump fakes to get the defenders off their feet. And Ali Hudick gets the layup to go, makes it 70 to 55. Cannon definitely could have made that pass sooner, but the pump fake really sold the defenders there. 70 great effort by Hudick. My bad. A great effort right there by Hudick as Schutze comes away with her sixth steal here in her mounting and debut. And Schutze drives now, kicks it out to Cannon. Cannon pump fakes. Kicks it back out to Schutze who fires up a corner three. No good. Rebound though to Gretchen Koken who puts up the shot. No good. Gets the rebound once again and gives it up to Dunkel. Dunkel now puts up the layup and it's good. An and one opportunity as Michaela Dunkel, her first two points in her Mount Union career, has the chance to add another one here at the free throw line. That's a really strong bucket for Dunkel. Dunkel's been really dominant on the inside, grabbing rebounds. It's nice, it's nice to get a bucket in your, uh, in your debut. That's for sure, as Michaela Dunkel, the 6'1 freshman forward here from Harrison Central High School, looking to complete the and one. It's Hallie Ignacio is going to check back in here for the Purple Raiders. And Dunkel's free throw is up, and it is good. The and one is good there for Dunkel. She's going to take a seat after the and one as Audrey Lofse is going to check back in. The Raiders come out with the press here on top by 18. As Lily Barra now guarded closely here by Haley Haywood. Haywood dives on the ground, but she's going to get whistled for the foul. Oh no! And so Haywood. Going to be called for a second personal foul. Bullshit, and it'll be an inbounded here for the Golden Tornadoes. That's horseshit, ref. As here comes Geneva. At the other end, Sam Nicholas puts up the shot. It's no good, but she's going to draw the foul here as Audrey Livesay is going to get whistled for the foul. And Mia Sam Nicholas is going to head to the free throw line here now for two. As San Nicholas' first free throw is up, and it is good. Makes the score 73-56. And her second free throw is up and good as well. San Nicholas now makes it 73-57. She has a team high 16 points in this one. Ignacio now with it here for Mount Union. Looks to drive. Swings it back out to Livesay. Livesay now down low inside to Hayward. Hayward gives up to Koken who puts up the shot. It's no good. Rebound into the hands of Ali Hudick who keeps the possession alive. Swings it out to Hayward. Extra pass over to Ignacio. Back down low to Hudick. Great pass back out to Ignacio for three. In and out. No good. The rebound goes to San Nicholas and San Nicholas is going to draw the foul here. 7-13 left to go in this one. Foul's going to go on Ali Hudick. Her first personal. Team's third. As off the inbound, Gretchen Koken comes away with the steal and puts up the layup, gets it to go. She's got 16 points in this one. Mount Union makes it 75-57. Hudick now coming up with a steal of her own, and Haley Haywood will give it up to Koken. Koken now driving, puts up the shot. It's no good. Rebound goes to Haywood. Haywood kicks it out to Hudick. Hudick over to Ignacio. Ignacio drives, puts up the layup. No good. Ball goes out of bounds. We'll head back to the Golden Tornadoes. A chaotic sequence right there, Brian. Two straight passing lane steals from the Raiders. They love those passing lane steals. Geneva's been really careless with the pass, and the Raiders have picked up on that. That's for sure. It's taking a look so far here today. It's taking a look at total turnovers in this one. Geneva now is up to 27 turnovers in this one. Mountain Union, 18 turnovers as well. But the Golden Tornadoes are going to take a timeout here. Mountain Union on top in this one by a score of 75 to 57. Mount Union though, has really dominated so far here today in the opener. As 
Gretchen Koken starting to come to life here as well. She has a new career high here tonight coming into this season. Her career high was just 10 points against, against Westminster last season. Here tonight, though, she has 16 points for Mount Union. Fresh off that Raider bench as well. Mount Union bench scoring so far in this one. Outscoring Geneva 31-14 with 16 of those coming here tonight from Gretchen Koken. And Brian, really just how important has the bench been so far here tonight for Mountain Union as it kind of looks like basically everybody that's come in and played has definitely made a positive impact on this game. I mean, that's exactly what you want in your bench. If, if you can have a positive outcome by having your bench in instead of your best players, your starters in, uh, you're, you're probably going to win the game. It's as simple as that. <laughs> that's for sure. As both teams are getting set to re-enter the court here. It's going to be Ignacio, Sierra Schlosser, Haley Haywood, Ali Hudick, and lastly, it'll be Audrey Livesay out here for the Purple Raiders. So Raiders come out with the press here once again. As Liggett now looks to keep that ball inbounds, and Audrey Livesay is going to come away with the steal here for the Purple Raiders. Turnover number 28 now for the Golden Tornadoes as Ignacio gives it up to Hudick. Hudick now out to Livesay. Livesay fires up a three, and Audrey Livesay from the top of the key gets it to go at 78-57. Matthews has it now at the other end for the Golden Tornadoes. She pump fakes here now. Swings it out to Barraclo. Barraclo gives it back to Matthews. Matthews tried to give it back to Barraclo, but nice defense there by Ali Hewitt. Knocks that ball out of bounds. Will remain Geneva basketball. As the Golden Tornadoes here have it. Mia San Nicholas now feeds it down low inside. As San Nicholas once again looks up to put up the shot, and that one's no good. Great defense by Livesay. And Hudick now gives it up to Ignacio. Ignacio can't quite corral that pass. It heads out of bounds. And the ball will go back to Geneva here. So just under six minutes to go here in this fourth quarter. Mount Union in firm control of this one on top, 78-57. As Sam Nicholas now with it. Looking to go baseline. Swings it back out to Liggett. Liggett now. Extra pass. We'll give it over to Blue Height. Blue Height now has that ball stripped away momentarily. Ten seconds now on the shot clock for Blue Height and the Golden Tornadoes. Tries to feed that down low inside the Barracuda, but that one's taken away by Schlosser. Schlosser now gives it over to Ignacio. Ignacio fires up the corner three. That's no good. Rebound goes to the Golden Tornadoes. Barrico at the other end puts up the finger roll. No good. And Sam Nicholas gets the offensive rebound and she's going to draw the foul. And we'll see if they signal for it on the floor if it was a shooting foul. And they will give the shooting foul here. So Sam Nicholas will head to the free throw line now for two. And no correction, they will indeed say that it actually was not there, so Geneva will inbound it here from underneath the basket. San Nicholas gives that back up to Blue Height. Nice two-man action here as San Nicholas puts up the shot. It's no good. Offensive rebound, though, goes to Blue Height. The Raiders nearly come away with yet another steal here. As Blue Height fires up a three, it's no good. A rebound diving on the floor is Schlosser. Great hustle there from Sierra Schlosser. It's going to force the jump ball possession arrow in favor of Mount Union. So 4.52 left to go here at the MAC. The Purple Raiders on top by 21 in this one. It's Ali Ignacio with it. And Ignacio now, looking where to go with it. We'll give this one on up to Livesay. Livesay now looking to drive baseline. Swings it over to Haywood. Haywood now gives it over to Ignacio. 
Ignacio down low inside, finds Livesay, and Livesay goes up for the layup. Strong one at that. Livesay has 10 points in her Mountain Union debut. It's 80 to 57. At the other end, Haley Haywood comes away with the rejection and gives it up to Ignacio. Ignacio now looking to drive. Swings it back out to Livesay, and fires up a three. That's no good. Rebound to Roth. Isabella Roth now has it stripped away over towards the Mountain Union bench by Ali Hudick. The Mountain Union bench is loving that one. It's a great hustle play. Bailey Schutz is going to check back in. But Brian, we've seen a lot of that here tonight. Some great hustle from this Mountain Union defense. Yeah, a lot of hustle steals, just constant pressure, able to read the passing lanes, getting to those passing lanes. Just really good from the Raiders here. That's for sure as they were just four minutes away from picking up their first win of the season. As the Golden Tornadoes look to try to complete a major comeback here as three-pointer is off right there as Ignacio now ahead of the pack gives it up to Schlosser, puts up the layup and Sierra Schlosser gets the layup to go for her first two Mountain Union points of her career. It's 82-57 Purple Raiders. San Nicholas now at the other end, looks to drive baseline, puts up the reverse layup, and it's good. Mia San Nicholas now with 18 points for the Golden Tornadoes, makes it 82-59 Mount Union. Schutze now gives it up to Hudik, who thought about the three, instead gives it back up to Schutze. Hudik now will swing it over to Michaela Dunkel. Dunkel now gives it over to Ali Hudik. Hudik looks to drive, puts up the shot, it's no good. Rebound goes to the Golden Tornadoes. Roth now puts up the shot, now he's blocked right there by Schlosser. Ball will remain here with the Yellow Jackets. Has some substitutions here for both squads. Abby Schof will check back in. Mila Klein will also check back in here now for the Purple Raiders, as will number 44, Sierra Horney. As Roth puts up a three here now, and Isabella Roth gets that three-point attempt to go. Roth now with 14 points in this one, makes it 82-62 in favor of the Purple Raiders. As Ignacio, his whole pass taken away, and Herring at the other end is going to draw the foul. Horney's going to get whistled for the foul call here. As Taylor Herring is going to head to the free throw line now here for two. Head coach Susie Vanette is going to take a timeout here, talk things over. 2.46 left to go in this one. It's 82-62 in favor of Mount Union. But Brian, we've been talking about really just the dominance so far from Mount Union here today. Taking a look at the stats, 27 offensive rebounds for the Purple Raiders compared to 6 for Geneva and also to the shot attempts. 91 shot attempts today for Mount Union. Now they've only been shooting 33%. They're 30 for 91 in the game. But just compared to 57 shot attempts here so far for the Golden Tornadoes, that's a recipe for success really any time oh, that you can sure. get over 30 field goal attempts more than your opponent. Yeah, uh, 91 field goal attempts is, is really good, <laughs> especially compared to 57 for Geneva. Just comes from all the turnovers that Geneva had. And the second chance points, the Raiders have 27 and Geneva has 8. That's been huge for the Raiders. That's for sure. And for the turnovers, 29 here tonight for the Golden Tornadoes as Herring's first free throw is up and good compared to 20 for Mount Union and taking a look at the points off turnovers as well. Mount Union is now up to 32 points off turnovers in this one. Just an incredible stat line there as Herring's two free throws are up and good. It's 82-64. As Schlosser takes it up now for Mount Union, gives it up to Horney. Horney now swings it over to Klein. Mila Klein pump fakes, fires up a three. It's no good. And the rebound here to Matthews. Matthews tried to get that ahead to her teammates. Nobody's home there, and Ignacio comes away with the easy steal for the Raiders. Ignacio now gives it up to Horney, who will give that one on up to Dunkel. And they will signal a turnover here for the Purple Raiders. Dunkel did step out of bounds. And so Geneva will come the other way with it. 
As fresh off the bench here, Adriana Campbell fires up a shot. It's no good. Nice hustle, though, by the Golden Tornadoes as Taylor Herring gets the putback to go. She's got 10 points now. It's 82-66, approaching two minutes left to go here in this one. Is that ball taken away here by Campbell? Campbell looking to go the other way with it now for Geneva. As Campbell gives it up to Schof. Schof over to Herring. Herring now over to Matthews. Swings that ball around. Firing up a three is Roth. Roth. Roth's three is no good. And the rebound there to the Raiders. However, a quick turnover at the other end. Kick ball violation. Geneva will maintain possession. So a minute 43 left to go in this one. Lily Ibarra is going to check back in here. As now the Golden Tornadoes are going to take a timeout. 143 left to go in this one. Mount Union on top. 82 to 66 in this one. But taking a look at some scores from around the OAC, this is the only game in action here so far tonight for women's basketball. However, yesterday, the OAC women's basketball season tipped off with a few games. Washington and Jefferson defeated Marietta by a score of 67-53. Wilmington came away with a 75-65 victory over Mount St. Joseph. And Denison came away with a 65-55 victory over Heidelberg, tipping off OAC play last night. As the Golden Tornadoes will have it here inbounding from underneath the basket. As Matthews now with it. Now Herring. Herring looks to drive. Puts up the layup and it's good. Taylor Herring makes it 82-68 in favor of the Purple Raiders. She has 12 points now in this one. So Raiders here a minute and a half away from a victory. But Geneva definitely going down swinging here as Ignacio now will have it. She's looking to cross half court here, and she's able to do so. Ignacio now looks to drive. Swings it over to Schlosser. Schlosser fires up the shot. No good. Follows the shot. Gets the layup to go as a great hustle play there from the freshman. Makes it 84-68. Really good hustle play there. At the other end, Golden Tornadoes put up the three. It's Schof. Abby Schof gets it to go. It's 84-71. 57 seconds left to go in this one. Ignacio has it now. And Ignacio now looks to drive. And swings it out to Dunkel. Dunkel now gives it up to Klein. Klein looks to drive. Puts up the layup. It's no good. But Klein's going to draw the foul. And a nice strong take there from Mila Klein. She's going to head to the free throw line here for two. So Mila Klein looking to get on the scoreboard here tonight, and she's able to do so. First free throw is up and good. Klein is the junior from Holland, New York here, getting her first points of the young season. And second free throw is no good. Rebound there goes to Horny. Horny puts up the shot. No good. Another rebound here from Dunkel. No good. But on the third opportunity, Michaela Dunkel gets it to go. It's 87 71 as the Raiders just 30 seconds away from a victory here. It's at the other end, the Golden Tornadoes get the second chance points. Taylor Herring gets it to go. It's 87 73. The Raiders can simply just dribble out the clock here. As Klein looks to drive, puts up the layup, and it's good. Mila Klein makes it 89-73 with 20 seconds left to go in this one. So the Raiders lead wire to wire here tonight. Never trailed in this one. And they're going to come away with the victory. As the putback is good by Lily Ibarra. Ignacio now just looking to keep the ball out of the reach of the Golden Tornadoes. That ball heads out of bounds here with three seconds left to go in this one. Not needing on top, 89-75. As Horny is going to get set to inbound it here. And Horny's going to inbound it here too. Ignacio and Ignacio is just going to dribble out the clock. Raiders come away with the victory here tonight. 
winning this one by a final score of 89 to 75. As a leading scorer here tonight for Mount Union, the Raiders were paced by a lot, but Emma Cannon finished with 18 points in this one. Gretchen Koken with 16 points, a career high. Brian, your overall final thoughts here on this one as the Raiders come away with the victory. Uh, the Raiders started off really well. The first half, they were shooting amazing. I believe it was 62 or 61 and a half percent. I believe was the three-point percentage, and kind of died down the third quarter. But really showed that they're a strong offensive team, just inside and outside. Defensively, they were great too. Like I, I didn't see a flaw with the Raiders team besides the poor shooting, where they were just uh, hacking them up in the third quarter. As far as Geneva, they were throwing lazy passes and. I think they showed some heart in the fourth quarter, but that's about all I have. Yeah, that's for sure. As taking a look at the final stat lines, the Raiders shoot 34% in this one, 33 for 97. Geneva 25 for 66, good for 37% in this one. Geneva 11 for 33 from the three-point line for 33%. Mount Union 9 for 29 at 31%. The Raiders, though, 87% from the free throw line, 14 for 16 clip, while Geneva 73% clip at 14 for 19. Rebounding was definitely the story in this one as well. Mount Union with 56 rebounds compared to the 39 for the Golden Tornadoes. 30 offensive rebounds as well for the Purple Raiders. Just doing a great job crashing that offensive glass. And also taking a look at the turnover battle that we talked about all throughout the night here on the broadcast. As Geneva, 30 turnovers in this one. Mount Union with 23 turnovers. As once again, Emma Cannon was the leading scorer here tonight for Mount Union with 18 points. Bailey Schutze in her Mount Union debut came away with six steals in this one. As Howie Ignacio also came away with four steals in her Mount Union debut as well. A great all-around effort for the Purple Raiders. They come away with the victory here tonight as the women's basketball team will be back in action here on Saturday. They will be up at Westminster facing Manchester University in the Westminster weekend tournament. But the Raiders come away with the victory here in game one of this 2022-2023 season. Mount Union wins by a final score of 89-75. For my partner, Brian Martell, I'm Jacob Batara signing off here from the MAC. And as always, it's a great day to be a Purple Raider.